to me, this seems like a really good opportunity to try to develop a systems or control understanding of, law, of uh, language models where we start by asking, you know, how do we formalize this? What really is an LLM system? Where we want to have a very simple formulation for what it is that's sufficiently general to encapsulate, you know, these fancy new things that people in, uh, in computer science and in engineering are building, like these weird agentic systems or chain of thought stuff. We also want it to inherit as much as possible from the rich, you know, literature of control theory. Uh, then we ask the question of, you know, controllability. So is there some input that I can give an LLM system that for every imposed state x0 will steer that LLM to my desired y value or any desired y value? And if the answer is yes, then okay, well, what's the nature of those control inputs that steers you from your starting state to the end state? And if the answer is no, if some y's are just unreachable from certain states, then it's like, okay, well, which y's are unreachable and why? And for the ones that are, then we still have the same questions as in the, the affirmative case. So, and then we hope to develop some theory about what we can say about language model systems <laughs> mathematically and also do some engineering uh, where we want to say, okay, practically, what does all of this theory stuff and the you know, systems understanding mean when you're trying to build these uh, language model systems? And how I mean, might we be able to apply the insights that we get from the control theory to building safe and effective and robust systems? And then finally, we'll talk about the open questions in language model control theory, which in my opinion, some of the most exciting things here where it actually feels like a tractable way to make progress on problems where the open questions, it's fairly clear how you start with them, which is a nice change for you know language models where often it can feel like the only way to make progress is to be Google or Microsoft with thousands of GPUs. But it really feels like there are a lot of open questions that are tractable here. This all seems, you know, pretty weird and overwhelming, but what I just tell myself and what Matt tells me is that, you know, it's just a function. 